Hey guys, it's Robin. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got my summer favorites and this off the top is a random nonsense related video. This is just stuff I've come across in my travels that I thought people should know about because it's stuff that either I find really helpful in my day-to-day -day life or I've just been really enjoying and that sort of thing. So some of this stuff is new to me, some of it is not. Some of this is stuff I've been using for a very long time and some of it's stuff I've just discovered and I'm really enjoying this summer. So if that sounds like a fun video for you, stick around. If you're just here for Scentsy content, skip ahead to the next video. There will be more coming up soon. I'm filming a what I've been warming right after I do this one. So if there's not another one up now already, there will be something again soon that is Scentsy related. In the meantime, I have got summer favorites and I've got, I did a spring favorites as well back in, I think it was April-ish. So it is time for summer favorites. We are in well into July. So it's that time. So here are some things that I've been enjoying this summer though. A lot of it does revolve around keeping cool and all of that stuff. So first off the top, I do have a gift one. This was something that was sent to me. This is the only thing in this video that was sent to me. Everything else is just stuff I've come across in my travels and personally enjoy. That being said, this item is something that I've seen in the past and wanted to purchase then. So then when the brand reached out to me, I was like, oh yes, please, thank you. So the brand is Forever Rose. So the Forever Rose is a brand that makes roses that last a year. Now I was skeptical that they would last a year. Um, I've not had this for a year, but I have had this in my house sitting here for about a month and a half. And you may have seen it in the background of some of my videos already. Um, this is still as beautiful as the day I got it. So this has not like deteriorated at all in like the six weeks or so that I've had it. So it's doing very well so far. I do have faith it's gonna last a year at this point. So this is a rose company based out of New York. The idea is they make roses that are preserved with natural oils to last up to a year or about a year. Um, they have all different colors, all different shapes, all different kinds of arrangements. I chose this one because I like the domed look. So you could see it from just like across the room. They also have flat top ones. They have like jeweled cases that are like jewelry tray ones. They're gorgeous. So the natural color roses, like the white, the red, the pink, and all those, they're just natural colored roses. That's just the color the rose is. So this one is just the rose was white and that's what color they are. They also have like fun colors like navy blue and like black and all kinds of colors. Those ones are dyed with natural like dyes. They're allergen free and all that good stuff. They're made in New York. So they're just gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful. This one is cardboard. Most of them seem to be either velvet or like a vegan leather. Um, this particular dome style comes with a, a very like, nice heavy duty shiny cardboard box, um, but really, really nice, beautiful quality. And how perfect would this be? Like the reason it's going in this video, how perfect would this be for a like wedding gift or a bridal party gift or an anniversary gift or any kind of like summer party gift? So pretty, I love it. And I do love that you can just kind of move this around your house, sit it wherever you want seasonally, and it lasts for a very long time. So they do have bigger arrangements if you want to make a real statement. They have small little arrangements if you just want like a little like thank you gift or something. And then this one's kind of like middle of the road, medium sized. So yeah, this one I just, they didn't tell me I had to put it in this video. I'm choosing to put it in my favorites video because I have fallen in love with this and I would repurchase from this brand in future. If this one does deteriorate and need to be replaced in a year, I'll probably replace it because it's just, it lasts so long. So you, I feel like it's a good value for the money. So really like it. And yeah, one thing is I don't think you can take it out of this packaging. I think it has to stay in here to stay good. Um, and there is no scent, which is probably why it's allergen free. They do sell like perfume oil you can spray on it to make it scent. I didn't do that. And I'm happy with it not smelling because my house is already pretty fragrant most of the time. So yeah, there's that one. That is Forever Rose, New York. And I will put a link in the description box below for you to check out their website if you want to. They did give me a $20 off coupon code to share with you guys. I believe the code is ROBIN20. So you can use that if you're interested. But that's just gonna live here in my background. That's where it lives in my house now. So I love that. So thank you Rose Forever for reaching out with that one. Just a great summer gift idea and great thing to kind of have in your house all year round. The rest now. Now the rest. Next category is personal and beauty stuff. Um, this next item is one I've been using for years and years and years. This is not new to me. This is something I've repurchased many times. And this is the It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi lipstick. Now this one is Your Perfect Pink. It used to be called Je Ne Sais Quoi. They must have rechanged it or must have changed it to Your Perfect Pink. There's two shades in this color. This is the lighter one. There's also a deeper one, but it looks clear. 
in the packaging. But I'm wearing it now and it does turn kind of a pink. This is a brand new tube. I've just finished up my old tube. So I'll just kind of swatch it here. And see, it goes on clear. And I'll show you if it turns pink at all. Um, but it does change on your skin to be a little bit more pink. So we'll check back in with that in a second. But this, I just really enjoy. It kind of feels like a nice balm on the lips. It doesn't transfer to your cups and stuff. It does provide a very natural color. I'll try to... Like, it is pinker than my natural lip color, but it's not super obvious. So I just really enjoy it. And, like, it's not really changing much on my hand at this point, but... A little bit of blush there, you can see. Hardly. But it does seem to turn more on the lips. I don't know. You get a nice amount of it in the tube. You get this at Sephora. Probably Ulta would have it too. And I also like this feature. The tube magnetizes. I like that. And what I've noticed in the last few years is it used to be that most higher end lipsticks did have the magnetic tube. And I've noticed now that is not so much the case. Some of the even like very, very high end designer brands don't have the magnetic closure anymore, but IT Cosmetics has kept theirs. So I appreciate that. And I really like this. It just keeps it from coming off in your purse or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is my go-to every day. I wear this every single day lipstick and it is a favorite for sure. The next personal beauty favorite is one from this summer. This is just the Hawaiian Tropic Weightless SPF 50 Sunscreen Spray. It's 12 hour, moisturiz 12 hour moisturization, broad spectrum, UVA, UVB, and prevents sunburn. So this is the one I've been using. And the thing I like about this one is that I, I store this in my purse. This lives in my bag. And so if we're at my daughter's soccer games, we just pull this out, like spray her down, spray me down because I burn in like five minutes. Um, and it's just handy to have because I always find, I never remember in the rush of getting out of the house, I don't remember to put sunscreen on, on me or my daughter half the time. If it's in my purse, we have it on us and we just spray it on. So the thing I like about this one is that you can't accidentally have it spray in your purse. It does have a little like locking mechanism, the lid turns. So now it's active, you can spray it, but when you turn it, you can't spray it. So it doesn't get all in my purse. And I like that about this particular bottle. The scent on this is really nice. My daughter likes the scent of this one a lot. And I haven't gotten burnt with this one yet. SPF 50 seems to be the sweet spot for me. Um, SPF 30, I will still burn. SPF 50, we seem to be good so far. So I really like this. It does seem to be weightless. It goes on really nice. You don't really know it's there after a few seconds. We do really like this one. I know people have very like different opinions on sunscreens and what they want in their sunscreens and stuff. Um, this one I think is a pretty standard sunscreen. There's nothing like super like green or anything about it. It's just kind of a normal sunscreen. But this is the one we're enjoying this summer and I would repurchase this. The next thing I got, I almost feel silly mentioning because like everyone has this or like almost everyone does or ev this isn't news <laughs> to anyone except for me. Um, but I've been using at work this ancient clear Starbucks tumbler forever and ever and ever, years, years. I've been using this like Starbucks clear tumbler and it's fine. It's getting kind of like old and dingy and it's not really clear anymore. It just doesn't wash right anymore. And it just, it needed to be replaced and it doesn't keep my stuff cold very long. It's, it's lived its life. So I decided to replace it with the Stanley 40 ounce travel mug. And I got the eucalyptus shade. This is just something I've really been enjoying. Um, I thought it was kind of silly at first and it is very heavy. I feel like I could use this for self-defense very easily, especially when it's full. You could really wallop someone with this thing and you'd be set. Um, so self-defense wise, this would do the job. This thing, it keeps things cold and ice frozen for like 18 hours. It's crazy. If you put ice and water in this in the morning and you drink the water, the ice will still be there the next morning. Like the ice will still be a little bit icy. So it's really, really cold, keeps things cold. It probably keeps things hot. I'm not really sure if that's what this is designed for. I think it's just for cold. I also like that it has the grippy part on the part you kind of hold to control it here, um, just so it's, cause it is quite heavy when it's full. It's just the straw on this is really nice too, which is a weird thing to say, but the straw on this, I don't know how to describe it other than the fact that it just is the right thickness to get the right amount of liquid into your mouth. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of resistance with the straw. It also doesn't collapse when you're sucking on it. It's a nice hard straw. I just really like the straw as well. And I've heard a few people that have the same mug say the same thing. They just like the straw. And I agree. It's a weird thing to say because all tumblers have a straw, but this one is especially nice and sturdy. It is stainless steel on the inside. It does fit into your car cup holders. This is the 40 ounce, like I said. It does come in a 30 ounce, which is a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit more manageable, but I do like the 40 ounce. 
And I find this kind of keeps me on track because I, I find once my water gets warm, I don't reach for it anymore. I just won't really drink it. Um, but this stays cold all day. So I am constantly sipping from this and I go through like one or one and a half of these a day now. So really enjoying that. And I do feel like it's keeping me better hydrated, especially through the summer months. So I'm enjoying that. That is the Stanley Tumbler. You can get those wherever you get Stanley Tumblers. I got it off their website. Um, there was a coupon code for new customers. So if you do shop through their website, make sure you sign up for that email newsletter so you get the coupon code because there's no point in paying full price if you can get 10 or 15% off. So yeah, that's one that I'm pretty sure I'm the last person to the ball game on. Um, I feel like everyone found out about those before I did, but now that I've got one, I really am enjoying it. So there's that. Uh, the next thing is a really random one. This is a garden hose. It doesn't have to be this exact garden hose. I'm just thinking collapsible hoses in general. So we used to have the big like green rubber hose that you your dog loves to eat because it's rubbery and squishy and they like to chew on it. So Ben destroyed a couple of those. And so we had to get a new hose. So we got a collapsible one so it would easily just like reel up on the house and like go on one of those hose holders. Um, the big green ones don't do that well because they're big and rubbery and they don't really like to, to turn very well. They kind of just go everywhere. So the collapsible one, what it does is you just start rolling it, hold the sprayer open and the water just comes out and it just collapses on itself as you roll it up. And then it's there, it's done, it's rolled up. It's not everywhere. It doesn't get all kinked up all the time. It just is lovely to work with. I'm not constantly having to go back and like untangle it or get kinks out of it. It hasn't kinked on me once. I love it. So the brand I have is the Yardworks from Canadian Tire, which is a Canadian hose, Canadian brand. Um, I don't think it has to be that brand. I'm actually not a big fan of the Yardworks brand in general. Um, this hose though, I'm loving, but I think any collapsible hose would do whatever your home and garden store has. If you have a dog or if you, for whatever reason, need to keep it rolled up on one of those like hose reel things, um, try a collapsible hose. It makes it so much easier and so much more convenient. And like, it doesn't sound like a big deal, but it's something you have to fight with every single night. Cause every evening I go water my gardens and it's a fight with that darn hose thing. So now to have one less fight in the day with reeling the hose up, it sounds so tiny, but it's made a difference. It saves my sanity just a little bit. And so I would recommend a collapsible hose and I'll put a picture of mine here. It's just the Yardworks, like I said, collapsible hose from Canadian Tire. But whatever you have in your community would work just fine. But if you're dealing with hose problems, that is what I recommend. The next thing I have here is something I got last summer. And this was kind of like a <laughs> panic splurge for me. Um, it got hot last summer and I don't, like I said, don't do heat well. So it, we don't have air conditioning in our home. Most places up north here don't. Um, it's just not something that we have ever needed here until recently it started getting really hot here. So, you know. Um, so what I got, usually we have like a very nice cotton sheet set. It's lovely, I love it. But I think it's a um, sateen cotton, which is very soft, but does run just a little bit warmer, which is what we want most of the year here. But in the summer, not so much. So I decided to splurge on some linen sheets. So I got these from Tess Ready to Live Bedding. I believe it's a Canadian company. Um, I purchased these last summer. They are a linen sheet set. Now I have not ironed, I don't iron. Ironing is not in my vocabulary. Um, so they're a little wrinkled and linen does wrinkle. So if you're really, really like fastidious about wrinkly bedding, you're probably gonna hate these, like just don't. Um, they are wrinkly, but they are very cool. Now the thing about linen is it's not the softest fabric. It is a little bit like thick and um, not burlap, but like a little bit, it's not as soft as like a sateen cotton for sure. Like I'm trying to show you the weave here. I'm not sure if it's gonna let me. Yeah, you can kind of see it's like, it's not rough, but it isn't like super smooth sateen cotton either. Um, but it is very, very cool. And we have enjoyed these. So this is just a pillowcase from my sheet set. Um, but I have the like light lavender sheets with like the light gray duvet cover, light gray headboard. It looks nice. So we like these and these are definitely like a two or three month a year sheet for us. We use these from like, June to August and then maybe September we switch back to the, the regular bedding but yeah really enjoy these I would repurchase them if I had to and I, I don't know that you have to purchase this brand like this is just the brand I purchased but I think any nice linen sheet set is a nice thing to have in the summer if you, especially if you don't have air conditioning 
Um, if you live somewhere where it gets hot and you don't have air conditioning, I recommend linen sheets. So there's those. The next thing in the home category here is nylon dog toys. Now we have, like I said, we have a puppy. He's now seven months old. He's pretty much full sized at this point, more or less. He might fill out a bit, but he's like about the size he's gonna be, I think. Um, he is a chewer, a definite chewer. Um, stuffies, he has one stuffy that he hasn't destroyed. And that's the one he had when he first came home. That is his puppy, he loves it. He carries it around. It's so cute. Every other stuffy we've brought into this house, he has destroyed within like an hour or so. So stuffies are a no-go. Um, and we also found that a lot of the plastic toys that we could get are things that he would like just break pieces off of and then they became choking hazards. So toys are tough for him. What we have found works really well are these chew toys and like nylon ones. So even if he breaks little bits of this off, they shred, they don't come off in chunks, which is what I like about, this is gross, I'm sorry, it's got like dog hair stuck to it and whatever, but um, you can see how they just shred. He hasn't destroyed this one all that much, but he's asleep right now. So I'm gonna go try to get some of his other toys out from under him. So this is his current favorite. This is a Benabone, I think it is. Yeah, Benabone, the brand is Benabone. Um, got this from our local Total Pet, like everywhere has these, Amazon has them, they're pretty easily available, but he is, like you can see, he's been chewing this one quite a lot, he loves this one. Um, and again, they just shred, he's never gonna bite a big chunk of this off and get it lodged in his digestive system, it's not gonna splinter on him, these little shreds are soft and harmless, so if he does ingest them he's not gonna be injured by it, which is something that we are very concerned about obviously, so love the better bones. There's also Nyla bones. I think this one might be a Nyla bone. I'm not sure. This is so covered in hair. He's a golden retriever, so he sheds a lot. Um, so this is his like Nyla bone stick thing, and like I said again, just shreds. It doesn't it doesn't like chip or splinter or break off in chunks. Just kind of shreds, which is exactly what you want for a chewing dog. So bones again can be a little bit dicey because they can splinter, and then those splinters are sharp, and it can be a problem. Um, raw hides are kind of the same thing. Depends on your dog. Our dog would not be okay with those things. So for us, these nylon chew toys have been a savior. We love them and I will repurchase them when they need replacing for sure. But so far, he's had this one for about three weeks and he's done about this much damage to it. I think it should last a while. So those seem to last pretty well because that's the other thing is like if you get something like a like bully stick or something like that, they love that but it lasts like three hours and then you have to like get rid of it because it's, it's done. So we're really enjoying the nylon chews. Those are working really well for us. So if you have a chewer dog and you aren't already aware of those, I would recommend Benabone or Nylabone. And they have different sizes for different breeds of dogs too. So these ones are all like large, large dog toys, obviously. Um, but they do have smaller ones for smaller dogs. The last thing in the home category is something that I regained my love for. Um, after we did a purge of my daughter's bedroom last month. So it was her birthday, she got a lot of new toys. So we had to go through her room and just kind of rearrange things and get rid of stuff and just kind of tidy it up and kind of organize it. So part of that was going through stuffies. And if you're a parent, stuffies are always coming in. People gift them for everything. There's always stuffies. There's always, always stuffies coming into your home. They just kind of manifest, I don't know. So. She had a lot of stuffies. So we do have a net and it's like one of those nets that goes in a corner of a room and you just put stuffies in it and it just kind of sits there and they kind of survey you from above. Um, that was working well. It got kind of full so we did a stuffy purge. That thing holds so many stuffies. I, we just got it off Amazon. It's nothing fancy. It was inexpensive. If you have a lot of stuffies in your child's room and I'm sure you could use this for other stuff too. Like I'm sure you could do other stuff with these. Um, store other things in them. We just use them for stuffies. Um, they're awesome. They hold like 50 such stuffies. Like it's crazy. I'll put a picture here of like what hers looks like. She's got so much in that thing. And that means they're not on her bed and in the floor. Like they're just up there. She can look at them. If she wants one pulled down, fine. But they're not all over her room, which is just dandy. Love it. Keeps the dog away from them. It's just ideal. So that is something that if you don't have in your kids' rooms and your kids are little and still in the stuffy phase, you gotta get yourself a stuffy net. <laughs> They're so good. So yes, and it also lets you use some vertical space because it's not like you can store other stuff up by the ceiling. Um, this just gives you a storage place for a lot of stuff somewhere where you can see it and it's just kind of 
there and out of the way and you're using vertical space that would otherwise not be used. So I do enjoy that. Next we're on to the kitchen and cooking categories. The first thing here is a very inexpensive, readily available in the US thing. Um, harder to find in Canada, but you can find it and I'll tell you how below. This is the Sonic Cherry Limeade Drink Packets. These are naturally and artificial flavored, low calorie, and they're to-go singles. There are five calories per serving. You get six servings in a container. And yeah, they're, they're delicious. I have not been to Sonic. I'm in Canada, so we don't have Sonic here. Um, but if this is what Cherry Limeade tastes like, I love it. Ah, oh, my friend Melissa Haight Johnson had uh, sent me one of these in like a, a gift a while ago. I loved these. I searched for more. Amazon does have them, but it's like $35 for a four pack of these. So it's pretty expensive. You can get these though in Canada on candyfunhouse.ca. Um, that's the website I got them from. They don't always have them in stock, but as of the time I'm filming this, they do have them in stock along with a few other flavors. They seem to stock up on those like US based drink singles in the summertime. So if you want these stock up in the summer, I ordered like several boxes of these when I saw them came back, when I saw they came back into stock. So I'm set for the year. Um, I love these. And I find they say, how much water do they say to use? It says to use like a 17 ounce bottle. Um, that's way too sweet to my, to my mouth and my taste buds. So I use one of these per one of these. This is 40 ounces. So I like over double the amount of water and it's perfect. It's just perfect. And fill this with some ice and one of these and water. Oh my gosh. It's like such a, it's such a treat. It's so good. Um, just refreshing and sweet and a little bit like crisp. It's just delicious. It's, it's cherry limeade. It's so good. So I have repurchased these. I will continue to repurchase these. I would be so sad if I couldn't get more. Um, I think these are just readily available at most grocery stores in the U S is my understanding. Um, and I think they have them on Amazon too, like in the U S. Uh, but yeah, in Canada, we do have them on Amazon, but they're one of those things that's like really, really strangely expensive on Amazon. So I would go through Candy Fun House where they're more reasonable. Um, so yeah, that's how I stocked up, but I love these. They also have a uh, strawberry, strawberry lemonade and it's okay. I wouldn't repurchase it, but it's okay. Um, the strawberry lemonade is good. It's just that we have similar things that are at our grocery stores here in Canada that you, you can get for cheaper. Um, but the cherry limeade, we have nothing else like it. There's also one called, is it ocean water? It's like aggressively blue. It is the most pigmented dyed drink I've ever seen in my whole life. I've never seen anything so vividly dyed as ocean water, um, but it's really good. It's kind of like a coconut flavor almost, I think. It tastes coconutty to, to me. Um, I really like it. It's kind of sweet and coconutty, um, but I prefer the cherry limeade, but I have also repurchased the ocean water. I think I bought like four or five boxes of this and like one or two of the ocean water. So our summer drinks are covered. These are such a treat. Like if you're in the US, you're so lucky. You just have easy access to these. But if you are in Canada, Candy Fun House is where I found them. The next thing I have here is a Canadian thing that you may not be able to find the exact same thing in the US. This is a PC President's Choice Diet Lemonade, Sparkling Lemonade. So PC is President's Choice, which is a brand carried by Superstore, No Frills, um, are right, Loblaws? Loblaws, I think. Um, all those stores have the President's Choice brand. It's like the store brand. Um, so President's Choice makes a few really good things. They do have the, the sparkling lemonade is also available in a non-diet version. So you can get it full sugar if you want to. They also have a non-sparkling version where it's just lemonade in a can. I haven't tried that. Um, the thing I'm discussing here is the diet sparkling lemonade. It's so good and it's zero calories. So I know some people aren't big on artificial sweeteners. I get it. That's fine. My husband and I personally do enjoy them. So we have been enjoying the diet sparkling lemonades. They are tart. They are acidic. They are really flavorful and very lemony and sour um, with just the right amount of sweetness. If you again, you have to pour it on ice. If you pour it on ice, that is such a summer treat. They're so good. Um, nothing on a hot day like a very ice cold sparkling lemonade especially if it's sugar-free. Oh my gosh, so good. So I don't have any right here to show you right now. We're actually out of them. My husband is actually out right now. He's gonna be picking up an order with two cases of them um, at the grocery store this afternoon. So we're getting more today, just not while I'm filming this. So I'll put a picture here of what they look like. If you live in Canada, your No Frills Superstore or Loblaws should have these in stock. Um, and I'm sure if you're in the US, there's probably an equivalent at many grocery stores of a sparkling lemonade that you could you could get as well. Um, but we really like those. The other thing here 
in my kitchen and cooking category is a summer treat. And in Canada, we call it a screamer. Um, I've been told this is a Canadian thing. I'm sure the US must have these just with a different name. So if you have these in your area, let me know what you call them in your area. Um, but in Canada here, especially in my neck of the woods, we call them screamers. They are a slushy. It's a slushy with soft serve ice cream in it. It's usually orange or root beer. That's kind of usually the flavors they are. Um, but I like orange a lot. Um, so you get like your slushy. They usually do some slushy in the bottom of the cup and then they put like a little bit of soft serve and then up the side and then more slushy and then top it with ice cream. They're so good. <laughs> what happens is you get some delicious soft serve ice cream to eat, yum. And then you have the slushy with the ice cream and as you hold it and eat it, it kind of melts together a little bit and then you can either stir it together so it's like a slushy milkshake mix or you can just try to eat the melted ice cream from around the slushy and oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, yeah, so screamers are a great summer treat. They're something I would never ever crave outside of like the hottest days of the year but oh my gosh, they're good. So again, no specific brand on this. This is just a thing that you find at like random local convenience stores. 7-Eleven doesn't do them. I don't know of any major convenience stores that do them, except for like local mom and pop type, type convenience stores. Those usually are the ones that have them. So if in your community you have like a local um, mom and pop style convenience store, check and see if they have a version of a Screamer uh, and let me know what they call it. <laughs> Cause I would love to know if those are existing in the US as well or anywhere else and what you call them there because here they're just they're screamers um and they're so good next is the entertainment category i don't have a ton here um just one podcast that kind of is very summery to me because it releases in the summer and i always listen to it in the summer is called park predators and again it's a true crime podcast it is a lady who goes through the details of people who have gone missing or um, been murdered in national parks either in canada the u.s sometimes abroad um but the key theme is they've all gone missing in national parks. It's really interesting how many people do go missing and the stories behind it and kind of what happens. Um, I really find it interesting. So um, I do find she does a very tasteful spin on it. She doesn't, it's very like honoring of the victim and their family. It's, it's, it's nice, it kind of goes through the legal process and if they were able to apprehend and charge and imprison the person who did it. Um, and if the person is still missing, there's like information on how to, if you know anything, how to give that information to someone who can help. Um, so Park Predators is one I've really been into this summer. And I think it's season two right now. I think she did this last summer as well. And I really enjoyed it then too. So maybe it's season three. I'm not sure what season she's on, but she's been doing this for a little while. Uh, but it's like a one season a year type thing. It only comes out in the summertime. And there's, I think there's like 12 or 15 episodes a year or, or so. Um, so yeah, Park Predators. If you like true crime, I would recommend Park Predators. The other thing I've been enjoying, and this is such a weird one to put in a summer favorites, but I'm such a fall winter person that I can't just not not have winter stuff going on all the time. So I actually signed up to a Christmas ornament club where it's like an Annie, I think it's Annie's, Annie's Kit Club. Yeah, Annie's Kit Club. Annie's Kit Club is a company that has a whole bunch of different craft kits and craft cup clubs you can join and they send you a box every month or couple months of a project that you can do. They have quilting ones, they have knitting and crocheting ones. I can't do those things. So I do the craft ones. So I've made a couple really cool things with them so far. I haven't shown them on here. Um, I'm in the like farmhouse, farmhouse crafts one and I made a cute little sign. Um, and then I got this Christmas ornament one that I'm in too. And I haven't got my second box yet. They do seem to take a while to ship. I will say that. They seem to take a really long time to ship. But I've only, I've, like I've been signed up since like April or May and I've only gotten one Christmas one so far. But I really enjoyed it when I did get it. And this is what I ended up making. What? Oh geez, sorry Piper. I just dropped it on my cat. Um, so yeah, they're really cute little Christmas ornaments. It came with these little like wooden blocks with black on them. And then you have to paint them and stencil them and then put the ribbon and the little grommets on. But yeah, I thought these were fun. So yeah, and you can reuse the stuff that comes with it. So it did come with the um, like silk screening like stencils. So I still have those. I could reuse those for another project if I wanted to. So I've got two Believe and I kind of changed up the colors to green on this one. I've got a Mary. Kind of ran out of string on this one, but there we go. Dog hair everywhere. Uh, Mary. We've got Joy and Joy. And which one do you like better? Do you like the green or the red? I kind of couldn't decide, so I kind of did one of each for all of them. So 
yeah fun with those and i thought those would be going to be fun to just kind of add on to christmas presents in the winter or give to friends give to co-workers that sort of thing so i love that kind of thing that you can just make and enjoy and then gift to people i love that so the annie's kit club christmas ornament kit i would recommend i will say it does take a while to ship so be aware of that the nice thing about it taking a long time to ship is that I'm not in a hurry. It's July, so it's got a lot of time to get here. The other thing I wanted to recommend for summertime is your local library's summer reading program. So if you have kids, or I'm not sure if they have it for adults. Our local library does not have one for adults. But if you have children or teens, there are reading li programs at the library. Now, I know most libraries I've been to in Canada have this. I don't know about the US. I would think so. I would think most libraries would have a summer reading program. So. Check with your local library because a lot of them when school comes out they will start like a summer reading initiative where kids can go and get a package and then you have to just like mark stickers or something on each day that you read that summer and then you get entered for draws and things like that um there's also like different special occasion days there's like a bugs and insects day and there's like a there's all kind of like a space day there's all kinds of different theme days throughout the summer that you can take your child to um in my case i work full time so i can't but my husband is a teacher so he's off for the summer so Whoever's home with your kid can take the kid to the activities and um, it's super fun. It gets them out of the house. It's something to do. It keeps them learning, keeps them engaged in reading. So love that. And it is something that they can, you know, see other kids and make friends and that sort of thing. It is kind of geared. I will say the children's one is definitely geared for kids like under 12. Um, so I did notice my local library did a teenage one for like kids 13 to 18. So it's a little bit more, I guess, grown up than the little kid, one of the insects and bugs and stuff. So they have kind of differentiated it so there's something for the teens too which i like because a lot of times i feel like teens get left out of that kind of thing you hit 12 and it's like okay you're on your own kid um so i do like that they did something for the teens in our community at least so check with your local library see what they've got for summer programming if you have kids because that can be a really fun free way to get some stuff done in the summer and keep your kid actively engaged in reading now last spring i had done a little category at the end called habits and activities that i thought were helpful or kind of game changers for me um, I don't have as much going on this summer. Like I feel like it's been like go, go, go and just like kind of like making it work <laughs> for the last couple months. So I don't have any like life smoothing activities. If you have any, let me know because <laughs> I need them at this point. Um, but I do have one that I wanted to bring up and that is it was my daughter's birthday last month and we have typically always done a pretty elaborate birthday party for her because she is an only child. Um, pretty fancy, pretty decorated, pretty detail oriented parties at our house. So this year she wanted to go bowling and I was like, you know what, let's do it. We booked the bowling alley and we just invited her whole class, which we couldn't have done for our house because I'm not going to be able to supervise that many kids in my house without them wrecking it. So we could have invited like six kids at our house or we, she could have the entire class at the bowling alley. And she chose entire class at the bowling alley, which worked out well, it turns out, because all we had to do was bring cake, bring whatever decorations we wanted, which were very minimal very minimal just like plates and forks um and some balloons they provided the lunch they provided hot dogs slushies chips chocolate bars we provided cake kids were well fed they provided bowling bowling shoe rentals all of that stuff and you know what we didn't have to clean up our house for two days beforehand and like dust baseboards because other parents were coming in we didn't have to do all that stuff while we were like busy working we didn't have to like arrange for balloon garlands to be made and delivered or like make and shop for snack trays and make signs and like fancy little detail oriented like snack signs and like themed games and stuff like that none of that and like that is super fun to do i love doing that stuff so if she wants another party at home next year i'll absolutely do it but this was a nice way i've never done it this way before it was a nice way to have the party and then kind of enjoy it more in a way because rather than prepping for like a month beforehand and like getting details organized it was let's go now we show up we do the party we come home and the house is not a mess the house is the way we left it and it's great she has fun she gets to play with her toys it was just so much more relaxed for and yeah like june's a busy month in our house because i mean I, we, we both work full time and june is a busy month for teachers which is what my husband does so her birthday is mid-june so it's it's a busy time for our family so this was a really handy way to just kind of like enjoy her birthday a little bit more almost like as much as we do enjoy the theme detailed parties this was just a little bit lower key for us and so i'm kind of glad she picked that and i hope she kind of picks it again next summer if she doesn't so be it but yeah um so if you can there are lots of options too like the bowling alley is one option i think there's like 
recreation centers that will rent it out for quite inexpensive. Um, the movie theater does it, I know as well. I'm not sure what the rates are. Um, but there's lots of places, the swimming pool, like there's lots of places, depending on your community and what you have in your community, that you can do birthday parties often. I don't know if McDonald's still does them. I don't think they do. Um, at least not in our area, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, there's lots of places outside of your house that you could have a birthday party, depending on where you live. I'm in a pretty small town. We have, we're pretty limited on spots, but we do have, like I said, the recreation center, the movie theater, um, the bowling alley, and the swimming pool. So there's those options. I'm sure if you lived in a big city, there's probably places that are designed just for kids' birthday parties. Um, but that was kind of nice just as a change. It, I, I didn't realize how much work goes into those home parties until I didn't have to do it. So yeah, just something to keep in mind. So that is my summer favorites. We've gone through personal beauty stuff. We've gone through season specific stuff, home, kitchen cooking and entertainment, and now just a little like activity or habit. So that is what I've got for the summer. Summer is by far my least favorite season of the year. I do not like the heat. I do not like the humidity. I burn like crazy. I have allergies. Like I'm not an outdoor person. I'm not meant for the outdoors. Just no. So I'm much happier when fall comes around. I'm gonna have so many fall favorites. There's gonna be a lot of them. Um, this one, yeah, I don't, we don't like, I, I was thinking about like, well, what, what's some like watery things I could incorporate? Like what about like hiking and swimming and that kind of thing? I don't do those things. We don't live near a body of water. The lake is like hours away like no we don't do that like <laughs> if you're lucky enough to live near a beach or like a really nice lake that's wonderful not here not in my neck of the woods so i got nothing so my stuff is all kind of just like a garden hose <laughs> that's where that's where i'm at um but yeah and you know what sometimes you can't beat just running through the sprinkler um yeah the dog loves the sprinkler my daughter loves the sprinkler sometimes the sprinkler is just as good as the lake you just go out there and the, he's chomping at the sprinkler and trying to eat the water and she's running around. Everyone has a great time. They tire themselves out. Done. So that is kind of how our summer's going. It's going fine. Um, but I'll be glad when it's over. It's it's hot. <laughs> um, it's it's hot. I, and I know it's not even close to hot compared to like what some of you in like the southern U.S. are dealing with. I know in Texas it's very hot. Um, I'm sure a lot of the other states as well. But here it's like 30 degrees today which I think is like 90-ish, 92, and I don't know, 90-ish in the US. It's, it's too hot. It's too hot. That's what I've got. I will talk to you guys in the next video. It will be sensory related that time, and I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.